Good morning, everyone. It's Adrian and Max with Sexy Cooking, and we are going to go downstairs and cook you breakfast. Hi, everyone. It's Adrian with SexyCooking.net. I'm here cooking you breakfast with little Max, a special request that you have all requested him to be on Sexy Cooking, so I brought him here with me. We are going to be cooking Eggs Benedict for you this morning. Um, it's one of my favorite breakfasts. I love the sauce, the hollandaise sauce, and we're going to spice it up since we're sexy cooking with a little cilantro for you. And I don't think there's very many men that would refuse this dish, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our sauce right now. We're going to start with three egg yolks. The base of our sauce is egg yolks and lemons. I like to use a lot of lemon juice. For our sauce, we're going to squeeze at least a half a lemon in there, one to two teaspoons, and we're going to blend our egg yolks with our lemon juice. So we're going to start with a half a stick of butter, and we're going to turn on our stove and cook it on very, very low heat. The secret to this sauce is cooking it very slowly so that your egg yolks don't curdle. If they do happen to curdle, you can always throw a little bit of vinegar or water in there. Okay, everybody, now we've melted our first half a stick of butter, and we're going to go ahead and put another half a stick of butter in our sauce and melt that down, too. Okay, guys, now we're going to add our spices to our sauce. We're going to add a little bit, just a tiny bit of cayenne pepper. We're going to put a little bit of Cajun seasoning in there. And then I like to spice it up and give it a little kick with a little bit of cilantro. You could use parsley instead, but I like the cilantro. We're here in Southern California, so we have a lot of Mexican flair in our food. And that's about it for the sauce. Just heat it up, not to boiling, because if it starts boiling, it will curdle. Okay, guys, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to poach our eggs. We have toasted some muffins, and we're going to put our eggs on top of that, along with our ham and our sauce. So to poach eggs are very simple and easy. You just put your eggs in the water. And of course, it's a little more healthy since we're eating so much butter anyways. So while we're poaching our eggs, we're going to go ahead and also cook our ham. Now, I like to get the ham with the bone in. It's much more juicy. Um, you can use Canadian bacon, but my family's from Austria, and we're big on ham. <laughs> Once our ham is cooked, we're going to put that on our muffins, and then we're going to top it with our poached eggs and our sauce, and it's that simple to make Eggs Benedict. Okay, guys, our eggs are just about there, so we're going to go ahead and start plating our dish with our ham on top of our muffins. And then we're going to go ahead and put our eggs on top of our muffins. And now we're going to top our Eggs Benedict with our sauce. And see how pretty that is? So we're going to go ahead for our final step and add a little bit of pepper to our eggs. Like I said, this is my most favorite breakfast. I love this. It's very elegant and very simple and easy to make for your girlfriend or boyfriend. It's a very sexy, nice breakfast. So I want to thank you for joining me today on SexyCooking.net. And we're going to make another version that's vegetarian for you. Okay, everyone, now we're going to make our vegetarian version of our Eggs Benedict. So we just need a few slices of tomatoes. Some people call this California Eggs Benedict also. And we're going to get a few slices of avocado too. Okay, you guys, we are going to poach our eggs right now. Now you could also do this if you wanted to with egg whites and it would even make it healthier for you. For our vegetarian version of our Eggs Benedict, we're going to go ahead and put a few slices of tomato and avocado. And we're going to go ahead and put our poached eggs on top. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and top it with our hollandaise sauce. And look how pretty that looks. So there's another romantic breakfast for you that you can make for your girlfriend or boyfriend. And thank you again for joining us at SexyCooking.net. 
and come back next week for more cooking videos.